Merry Bowl season, everyone. I'm Brett Gibbons with TheLines.com, and today we're breaking down the Camellia Bowl between Georgia Southern and Buffalo. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the Lions YouTube channel as we're here breaking down all 41 bowl games and the national championship this postseason. Let's get into it. The Camellia Bowl, Georgia Southern, a four-point favorite over Buffalo. This one kicks off Tuesday, December 27th at noon Eastern on ESPN. It's got an over-under of uh, 67 points, pretty high, especially for these remaining bowls here. Uh, this is also the Kyle Van Treese Bowl, the quarterback for Georgia Southern, who transferred to Statesboro from Buffalo. Uh, it's played at the Crampton Bowl in Montgomery, Alabama. It's a historic football stadium. I've seen a, a game there, a lot of history. Uh, don't know how the atmosphere holds up, though, especially in something like Camellia Bowl uh, two days after Christmas here. It opened up as a, a three point three and a half pardon me, uh, spread here. So there's not a lot of movement, but I do think it is important. It's indicative on where the market sits on this because it moved away from that key figure, away from that three rather than toward it. So I think the market's a little bit heavier on Georgia Southern here than they are in Buffalo. And I think there's good reason for it too. Buffalo lost three of their last four games down the stretch. Mind you, they needed one game to get bowl eligible and they couldn't do it in three tries. It took a comeback against Akron in their very last game of the season to get bowl eligible. That's a game that was played in Buffalo or, or Getzville, I think is exactly where UB stadiums at. Uh, and it was moved a week because of that big winter storm that also pu uh, pushed that Browns bills game to Detroit. So they did push it and it, it's disruptive, but it should have been far more disruptive for Akron, who's visiting. And what did Akron have to play for in that game? Not a whole lot. And Buffalo, as a two-touchdown, two-plus touchdown favorite, uh, had to come back and only one by one. And Buffalo had just so much to play for. That, that is a concerning outcome. And uh, the, the, down, uh, the, stretch, the last stretch of their season for Buffalo is extremely concerning. So I also love bringing up the max stat, 35.6% win rate in the last five seasons. However, they are 2-1 and one this year. You had Eastern Michigan, you had Toledo win their bowl games. We're looking at Buffalo, who's going to be without top corner Elijah Blades. He's off to the NFL draft. He won't play. We're not sure if their top two rushers will play because they were hurt. Uh, also looking at... I think they have a starter on the offensive line, their center, and a couple other starters that hit the transfer portal. I'm not entirely sure if they're going to play or not because uh, when it comes to injury reporting and availability in the MAC, it's very spotty, even for bowl games. So I'm not sure if they're going to sue. I don't know if it's going to make a huge difference, but it's certainly not going to help Buffalo uh, if they don't play. So you're looking at early downs, uh, EPA, early down success rate, you know. The best third down, as a lot of people say, is third downs you don't play. So you want to be good on those early downs. And Buffalo is not good on those early downs. They're 113th nationally in early down EPA uh, on the season. So are they able to take advantage of a Georgia Southern defense that's 128th in early down EPA? They're allowing the fourth highest EPA on early downs. Can they take advantage of that? I don't know because they haven't been able to all season long. Uh, where you're looking, where the bets are, where the handle is, Georgia Southern's got 60% of the bets, but 83% of the handle as of Monday. So you're seeing higher bets on Georgia Southern than you are on Buffalo. Uh, sometimes it really is kind of better to think less. I know that's a silly kind of uh, contrary way to look at it, but Georgia Southern, they're better on offense and they played against better competition. So, you know, the Sun Belt's a lot better than the Mac is per team. And Georgia Southern was playing those games and winning those games and playing better offensively against better competition. Uh, I lean Georgia Southern with the points. What does make me nervous is Kyle Van Treese. He struggles with turnovers, man. And, and as we've seen this bowl season, better teams that turn the football over lose. You saw it with UTSA. You saw it with San Diego State. So my lean is Georgia Southern with the points. But I don't know if I'm 100% confident in betting that just because of Van Trees and his, and his propensity for turnovers, especially near the goal line. Uh, how many times have we seen this bowl season teams get close to the goal line, turn it over, and then they end up losing by a score or two? Um, far too often for me to be super confident on Georgia Southern. But they are the better team on paper. They should win this game. They should be able to beat Buffalo fairly comfortably. And I think the market is kind of telling us that that is uh, kind of the, the way that's going there. So... 
Be sure to hop on over to our Discord where you can connect with over 4,000 sports betting fans. You can get live updates in our college football server. I'm talking opt-outs, coaching changes, injuries, any late news that's coming to all the bowl games that are left ahead of us. You can find that in the college football server. And if you click on the hashtag roll server, drop an emoji under my name and you'll be getting my bowl bets all December long. You'll get notifications straight to your phone because when I place a bet, I'm putting it in Discord. And don't forget to subscribe to Lines YouTube for daily bowl videos and comment what side you lean in this game. Do you think I'm being a little bit too uh, cautious with the turnover game here with Kyle Van Treese? Do you think uh, Georgia Southern is going to run away with it? Or do you think Buffalo, you know, the underdog play is is the correct play here? Let me know on Twitter at Road to CFB. Let me know in the comments down here. But thank you as always for watching. I'm Brett Gibbons and have a very merry bowl season.